are starting off this morning a little bit foggy out there with visibilities less than a quarter of a mile in some spots. So a dense fog advisory has been issued for our area until about 8 a.m. Let's take a look now at that current satellite picture. Not much happening. We're seeing some low clouds and maybe even some fog showing up on there. But other than that, it's very quiet. And it will stay quiet as we head into the rest of the morning and then going into the afternoon. The main issue right now with the weather will be the visibility. We're less than a mile in a lot of spots. Slidell less than a mile visibility. Hammond at one mile. Bell Chase at one mile, Galliano less than a mile, and Homa less than a mile. And over at the airport in Kenner, about four mile visibility. So we'll be dealing with this fog for the next couple of hours. Now, as far as the temperatures go, a little bit cool, low to mid 50s on the North Shore, mid to upper 50s south of the lake. And really, as we get into this afternoon, a lot like yesterday, we're going to warm up nicely with our high temperatures jumping into the mid to upper 60s. So, as far as the wind speeds go, calm winds right now in a lot of spots. They'll be out of the west for the morning and early afternoon, but then they'll switch out of the east and the southeast as we head into the evening and go overnight. So here's the setup here. We had this weak front that moved through the area overnight and really, you know, behind a lot of cold fronts that come in, we get those breezy conditions and this really didn't bring that at all. It's a very weak front and it's going to be even warm as we head into this afternoon. So not much impact from this front at all. But the next system is where we're going to get our rainfall from, and that's going to most likely be for tomorrow evening. Before today, expect to see mostly sunny skies again, nice and warm temperatures. Now, here's the forecast model. We had some big changes from yesterday, and even as we were looking at the models yesterday, things were flip flopping. So we said, don't really take too much confidence in them because things come into better agreement as you get a little bit closer, and that's what happened overnight. So watch what happens now as we head into this afternoon. Not much at all for this afternoon. Afternoon, an increase in cloud cover, a high temperature around 68, but still staying mainly dry as we head through today. Maybe a couple of isolated showers north of the lake, but the percentage only about 10% as we go through this afternoon. Mostly cloudy skies as we go in the overnight hours tonight, and then into tomorrow morning, things are still mainly dry. It'll be a little bit breezy tomorrow, and we'll have mostly cloudy skies. High temperatures will be in the low to mid 70s for tomorrow afternoon, but still, it looks like it's going to stay mainly dry through the afternoon. We're going to have the this cold front move through tomorrow evening now, but it doesn't appear that the rain's going to come in until after about 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow. So that's definitely good for the two parades rolling at about 5.30 and 6 tomorrow. It looks like it will be mainly dry, but rainfall will be heading in later on tomorrow night. Now, the big change is, is there goes the rainfall. This is 3.30 a.m. on Tuesday morning, and that front continues to push off to the east, and we're mainly dry. And this is when it's going to be breezy behind this stronger front that moves through. But check out Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. This is indicating plenty of sunshine. Now, it's still going to be very cold on Mardi Gras. We're talking about highs in the 40s, but the big change is it doesn't appear like we're going to see any rainfall at all. We could actually stay mainly dry for all of Mardi Gras. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that this forecast will hold. But it does appear as you get a little bit closer to the date. We're only about 48 hours away now that we have more confidence in this forecast now. As far as the parades go for this afternoon, looking good. Upper 60s for the uptown parades during the afternoon. Then for the evening, Bacchus 60 degrees, partly cloudy. And then Napoleon and Metairie, also about 60 degrees, partly cloudy skies, but mainly dry. As far as the forecast, mid to upper 60s, nice and warm, no rainfall today, mostly sunny. Then for tonight, we're looking at increasing cloud cover, cool overnight, but mainly dry, low to mid 50s in the overnight hours. Here's the extended forecast for today, plenty of sunshine. Tomorrow looks like the rainy day. But during the evening, especially, and then by Mardi Gras, it looks like we're going to dry out. And we're going to be mostly cloudy and breezy and cool still, 49 degrees, and then mainly dry Wednesday and Thursday with rain chances returning by next weekend.